Welcome to my chambers. Some students on a college campus in New England caused a major stir earlier this week when they decided to burn an American flag in part because of their emotional objection to the election of Donald Trump as President of the United States and in part because of some bizarre allegiance to Fidel Castro, the vicious, brutal dictator and anti-American uh, provocateur uh, in Cuba who died last week. This in turn provoked President-elect Trump to say there should be a punishment for flag burning. How about loss of citizenship or a year in jail? I'd like to think that the president-elect was attempting to demonstrate his opposition and that hit to flag burning and that his words shouldn't be taken literally. The reason they shouldn't be taken literally is because as offensive as flag burning is, it is protected speech under the Constitution. Now, we're not talking about burning somebody else's flag or taking a government flag and burning it. We're talking about burning your own flag. Can you burn your own flag in order to demonstrate an objection to the government of the United States, to the United States as a country, or to what the flag stands for? In a word, yes. As long as the fire does not harm anyone or anything other than the flag or what you're using as fuel to get the fire going, you can do it. As reprehensible, as hateful, as unorthodox, as would be the political views behind burning the flag, they're political views, they're yours, you are free to express them. And the Supreme Court has recently, twice actually, as 1989 and 1990, said exactly that. The American flag is a universally recognized symbol of the human sacrifice of some for the human freedom of many. It is revered because it is that symbol. How bitterly ironic it would be if the freedom it fought for were to be removed and the government were to tell us how to treat a flag that we own. Supreme Court has addressed that and made it very clear. If you don't like the flag burning, look the other way or try and talk people out of it. But don't try and use the power of the government to prevent them from expressing their ideas. The whole reason for the First Amendment is not to protect the ideas we love or the ideas that are popular. It's to protect the ideas that we hate. That is the essence of free speech in America. Welcome to my chambers. Fight the good fight. For